Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the host of the No BS Coaching Advice Podcast here on Anchor.fm. If you've always wanted to start a podcast, Anchor makes it ridiculously easy to do it. You know, Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. And best of all, it's completely free and ridiculously easy to use. I know I've used two other services. One was very expensive, like $700 a month expensive until I realized I was getting hosed. And now it costs me much less, but it still costs me. Another service that's inexpensive, but it still costs me. Again, it's 100% free. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors too, so you can get paid to podcast. I do no BS coaching advice here, and it is a breeze. I, I can record on my laptop. I can record live off my phone. Again, very, very easy to use. So if you've always wanted to start a podcast and make money doing it, go to anchor.fm forward slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm forward slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. This is the No BS Coaching Advice Podcast, episode 163. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I like to spend some time regularly. It's been about once a week now for at least nine months now, talking with you about some element of life, the universe, and everything. And today's the day after the Super Bowl, so it's natural that I would do a, a quick recap of something some lesson that you might have picked up or noticed during the game that might apply to the rest of your life. And I'm going to go to the winning team, which was the Kansas City Chiefs, and um, a very hard-fought game for them. They did not have it easy. They were down by 10 going into the fourth quarter. And at one point, I looked over at the people I was with and said, this looks like it's over at this point, but I know it's too early. Actually, what I said was, this looks like it's over now. (laughs) And the truth is, I didn't think it was too early. I thought it was over. And I'll just simply say, that team worked hard against a hard opponent. It was not an easy win, but it's one that they earned. They worked for it, they fought for it, they scrapped for it, they did the little things consistently, playing within their system in order to win. Ever feel frustrated, folks? Because I'm sure they did. Matter of fact, I would be surprised if they weren't a little scared in the fourth quarter, wondering if the game had gotten away from them and they were going to lose. The score was 31-20. That doesn't reflect how close the game was. This team worked hard. Their star quarterback who won the MVP, Patrick Mahomes, it was not that great a game for him because the other team did that well. But they worked for it. They stuck with their system. They stuck with their plan. They worked hard, and they eventually won. We can't guarantee outcomes, but when you're in a situation where you know what you're doing is working, maybe you just have to grind it out and get to the other side in order to become the winner in the situation that you're in. Things don't always go perfectly, right? Like, for example, the audio at the beginning of the show. I sound like I'm in a box, even though I'm recording at the same way, the same level I always do. I don't understand it, but the content is good, so I'm letting it go by, and hopefully you can as well. I believe that sometimes perfection is overrated, that as hard as I try for perfection, there's always going to be little glitches that show up, right? And what do you do with those glitches? Do you let them destroy you? Do you let them hurt you? Or do you just keep plugging plugging forward and trying to get to where you're trying to get to? 
I must in all honesty tell you, my expectations really hurt me a lot, just like I suspect they do with you as well. I have an expectation that I'm going to be tall, thin, handsome, and a whole bunch of other stuff, and when I look in the mirror, I don't meet those at all. Not in the least, not even close. And when I found the joking aside, I was obviously being goofy there, but, you know, often people set expectations for themselves that are completely unreasonable. Like I ran the New York Marathon probably 20 some odd years ago. No, it was more than that. Uh, a long time ago. Let's put it that way. And I had an expectation of a certain time that didn't come close to it, primarily because I'd never run a crowd that large. And it was a hotter day, 78 degrees, which is a lovely day to sit outdoors, but to run a marathon is too long. As a result, I negated my success that day in finishing. You know, I finished in under five hours. I expected to be under four. And, you know, frankly, I was disappointed in myself and because of injuries was never able to go back and run. Expectations corrupt successes. They hurt. And there's no reason for that. If you didn't have it perfectly according to some arbitrary standard, so what? It doesn't matter. You did it anyway. So that's today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you listen to the show. Just subscribe so you can get downloads whenever I release a new episode. Each show contains bite-sized morsels of advice just like today's. I hope you enjoyed it, and I do hope you subscribe. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, visit NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. You can schedule time for a free discovery call or go right into coaching. I'd love to help you. And if you're interested but not quite sure where to start, Take the online assessment available at TheBigGameHunter.us forward slash success. It will give you a few ideas and it can be a launch point for our work together. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day and take care. Time for the